As fall turns to winter here in Arizona, another season of ASU Sun Devils hockey is upon us. But unlike years past, the Devils will not be playing games here at Oceanside this year. Instead, they will have to play their entire schedule on the road. As part of their agreement to play in the Big Ten for the upcoming season, the Sun Devils will have to play all 28 of their scheduled games away from their home rink. The team will hold regular practices here at Oceanside in between series and then travel to the game sites, sometimes staying on the road for weeks at a time. It's going to be set up in, a, in, a, in an arrangement where we can really kind of do travel segments. It's not going to be, you know, 14 road trips. It's going to be more like seven road trips where we'll play Minnesota and Wisconsin in the same trip. We'll play Ohio State, Notre Dame in the same trip. We'll play the Michigans in the same trip. We'll play Penn State probably four times in the same trip. So, you know, we're used to traveling over the course of a season 10 to 11 times. We're going we're gonna to have seven road trips this season. It, lo it looks like probably right around that number. While they face a hectic travel schedule, the Sun Devils see these long road trips as an opportunity to bond together as a team and discover some of the hidden gems that Big Ten college towns have to offer. Personally, for me, uh, I enjoy finding like local coffee shops. So, you know, like that hole in the wall place, I'll have to ask around like the concierge or uh, another student there or whatever. But uh, I like finding those those coffee shops and a few of us guys will go we'll do homework, just hang out for a bit. Um, I know guys like to go see movies and whatnot. Um, obviously, this is pre COVID, so it'll be a little different this year. But um, there's all kinds of times to or ways to pass the time. Along with the constant traveling, the team will have to adapt to playing in unfamiliar buildings with different dimensions and bigger ice surfaces than what they are used to playing on. I know a few of the rinks uh, were Olympic size or like a little bit bigger than what we're used to playing on. Um, so when it comes to when it comes to the, the dimensions, like you, you explained, it's you, you have to adjust your plan just a little bit more. Um, nothing drastic really changes. Uh, we, we have our plan, we like to stick to it, but we do take those uh, measures to, to you know, prepare better for it. Although the lack of home games means that there won't be a senior night this year, the team says they see this as a necessary sacrifice to be able to play hockey this season. Um, personally, you know, I, uh, I hadn't really thought about that, but um, um, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think um, sometimes senior night can um, can be a bit of a distraction. Uh, there's a lot going on, and and um, you know, like I said, taking taking the adversity and using it to to our advantage. Even though ASU fans won't get to experience games in person this year, all of the games will be streamed online by the Big Ten. And with a lineup full of skillful veteran players, there are still plenty of reasons to get excited about Sun Devil Hockey in 2020-2021. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Evan Oshowitz.